and welcome to episode 10 of Greenwich Valley. Hey, it's hello there everybody. As you can see, we are wrapping up for the day. It is now 7.06 in the p.m. Right, a little bit of time has lapsed since the last episode. I have done a few contracts off screen, uh, mainly fertilizing. Um, so, yeah, it's gone okay. This has gone through the mill, so I'm going to give it a good clean up. And then we're going to crack on with our, well, go to bed and then in the morning crack on. Because there has been a few little things that have changed since the last episode. When I say little things that have changed, I don't mean physical changes as such, more, well, with the map itself. Now, if you all remember, Field 17 was growing. It has now grown. So we currently have in Field 17 potatoes that are ready to be harvested. I just need to remove the tops and get the harvester on it or get a harvester to buy for it. Now that's the plan. Um, and I already have a harvester in mind and an idea that I'm gonna use. So we're gonna just sleep through the night quickly because there's just no point really. Um, there is also a small manure point down the bottom there, which I'm gonna get some manure at as well at some point. Um, that manure point I put as the manure mod, manure dealer mod. So we need to get that for greenhouses. So in the morning, that's one of the jobs. I'll see you then. Right, we are down at the store. Now, 7.21, we have some collection and some spending to do. Well, it's not going to be that expensive, not in, well, especially when you see it. Yes, harvesters are a lot of money for potatoes, as we all know, about 400 odd grand uh, for the basic in-game one. I'm not getting the basic in-game one. Now, I've bought the truck with a low loader down, and I've also got uh, the new Holland down here as well. Thank you, follow me, because I've also purchased a tanker. Um, the tank I'd already purchased previously, um, it was just a case of collecting it. Um, and that is going to help me with the next step when it comes to the greenhouses. So, we are first going to go in here, and this is the pack for root crops. Um, it's a decent mod, look it up, I would recommend it. You get all these different uh, toppers with it. Now, these toppers are brilliant because you can actually drive at the speed of the harvest of the tractor. And we're also going to get this, which is the main harvester. Now, this is a cracking little mod. I mean, it does have one problem with it, and that's its, well, view. But, hey, never mind. It does look pretty okay. Old bit beat up. The pushettes, so, yeah, this is the main problem. But, however, you know, just on the outside you get that instead of from the drivers view but hey ho never mind I mean, it could be worse Hello. so let's get a move on oh, we're now at the farm oh, bit of a mishap on the follow me on the way in so I'm gonna have to quickly go collect the others but not too they just lost lost me basically or I lost them Not going to be a problem, not going to take me long. Brought the trailer down here because I'm just going to dump the potatoes in the trailer, then dump the potatoes in the silo uh, from the trailer, and then from there, well, we'll see. Let's get on, but.
Right, so park this up. Now, yeah, not bad. I mean, it took an age. It took an age to do. Oh. Now, in that time, this is fermented. It's good. I can make some money on the silage. I'm going to stick most a lot of that in the BGA. Um, I've got access to two BGAs. There's two on here. Um, so I'll probably stick one load in one and one load in another. And then just come back for it after it's chugged away. Let's go from there. We've still got some potatoes in here. Uh, oh, I don't know why I just did that for. I do it all the time. Now I'm going to stick this in the silo with the rest of them. And then we're going to get a big truck to transport at least one load down um, to wherever they or wherever they're selling for the best. Uh, I want to keep some in the silo for very obvious, well it's not very obvious reasons because you don't know my plan yet. Mm. But yeah, for reasons I will say. Um, they will come into plan later on but I'm not going to really have any worries. I'm going to have plenty of potatoes to last for a long time. Oh, cool. I mean, the, the problem with uh, potatoes, they don't really sell that well because the yield is so high. And it's high. Uh, I, mean, I really didn't expect to get that amount from this harvest. Not for one small field. That harvest itself is not too bad. I mean, the in-game version uh, is a three meter header. Um, that's only a 2.7 if I remember rightly. So it's, yeah, it's smaller, but it's not bad. Now, as you can see, these are the spuds. And the best one's Linton, but there's, it's not very, not very much you get for it. So I'm not expecting a massive amount. Now, let's get this trailer in. Let's load it up. Might just about pay for the uh, pay for the harvester. I don't know. But that harvester is going to be useful somewhere down the line because I am planning on doing the sugar beet harvest at some point. That harvester can do sugar beet as well, so it'd be foolish to get rid of it. And if a potato harvesting contract comes up, I could use my own harvester for that as well. So, there you go, Two, over 250,000 litres, 250,000 litres from one, that's massive. And this here, this is the silo display, um, it's in the same pack as the bunker silo display, it's pretty good though, I quite like it. Right, I'm going to get down to Linton Mill, let's get rid of these, um, and then I'm going to go get the manure. Let's see how much we make on this, eh? Not gonna be a major amount, but just some money would be good. Decent, fair. Mm, not got much hopes. It's not too bad, I suppose. Thirty-six, very nearly thirty-seven grand. Well, it's paid for the harvester at the very least. So, right now, off to get the manure. Okay, one trailer full, uh, trailer full of poo. We'll stick this in the silo. I'm going to need it anyway, and that's for the uh, greenhouses. So, that's the whole point of me getting it. I mean, if my plan comes to fruition, well, the chickens at the very least, when I put them in, they should start getting 
manure going, providing I put some straw in. Um, I've got some straw, um, loose straw which I collected from with a loading wagon um, on one of the contracts that I did, so that's good. I have got some barley, so that is the next thing I really need to do, but yeah. No, it's not going to show up on there. Okay. We'll do a sugarcane harvest at some point, I think. That's on the list. There's so many things I wish to do in this series. It may spill out to a different series. I don't know. I mean, there has been ideas in the ideas and the play at the Pope line, so. Um, but, let's see. Park this up here. Okay. Right, let's go sort this out. So manure is the first thing I need. Then water. Uh, straw. There. There we go. And then... So that's done it should start bearing fruit now these trees need um, fruit manure and water and a little something else uh, which I will show you very shortly well I've got it anyway it's on the back of the trailer um, if I just click here now once we put manure and water in them, this one will do plums. Um, and the plums literally grow on the trees. Now, if you're doing this on, if you're using this specific mold, now this is the productions, uh, global company productions, uh, fruit trees. Um, you need to run this. Um, a few things as well. You need the honey um, mod, fruit tree and uh, production mod. Um, and they all part and parcel on the same package because they all come, they basically all come with that uh, shop. Um, and you can only sell these at that shop. So, you know, that's why we've got it. Um, it's the same for the honey. You can only sell the honey at that shop as well. So, hey. Now, if you are doing this on seasons, I do believe that using this mod on Seasons does, well, it only produces a certain amount um, at, a, at a certain time of year. I think it's only spring, if I remember rightly. No, sorry, summer. It produces in the summer. That's it. You know, you have to go through the rest of the, rest of the uh, year um, just topping it up, getting it ready. So back into here huh. why is the trigger not coming up That's disturbing. Right. Uh, I've used these before, so it shouldn't... Well, I haven't used all of them before, but I have used these before, so... I did have no problems beforehand. Let's try this one. So it's coming up on this one, look. That's all right. Odd. The only thing I can think of is um, I had to do a little bit of mini landscape and then maybe that's caused a problem. I'll have to have a little look at that trigger. That's two out of the three.
Right, they're all filled with manure now. Now I'm going to try and see if I can fill them up full of water. I don't know if this one's going to work. What? Oh, hello. So it might be a problem with that trigger. Um, I might just have to get the landscaping out to do it. Right, so I'm at least filling it full of water. And it will still produce with water, it's just not as much. I don't get as much money from it per hour. So, which is a pain. <sighs> Quite like this Bailey, Bailey, Bailey tanker. Now this is in the mod hub, this Bailey Tango, it's really nice. I tell you what though, I've got to say to you, I mean, it's one that I have seen uh, quite a few of in the area where I live. Um, I do see, you do see these coming down the street sometimes. Well, country street, should I say. And, uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, they look just look brilliant IRL as well. So, a bit finicky on how you feel it, you have to be it the point in a certain way. I need to refill this tanker. What I really need is a tap halfway. Ideas. Let me think. Hmm. That lands a tap halfway. <laughs> so I just literally just bought it and placed it. So, right. Nearly there now. Once I've done the greenhouses, I will need to do the trees. Well, I missed it. So with these greenhouses you get, these are Steve's Mods greenhouses by the way. Um, what you get with these, you get tomato, um, red cabbage, pumpkin, lettuce, cauliflower, um, and oh, I forget what the other one was. But yeah, so pumpkin, cauliflower, cabbage, red cabbage. Um, pumpkin, yeah, you get you, you basically get six different types, okay, and it's a pretty good mod as well. A lot of Steve's mods are good mods, so he's always worth looking into. All right, let's refill and sort out the trees. That back spot, there's a reason why I've added. A compound, yeah. See, the, the trigger doesn't seem to pull up here. I've got to get it on the opposite side, I think. Let's try that. No, I think I have to put it on the other side. Bummer. At least it's a good amount in here. I mean, the capacity is pretty good. Let's see. No. Right, well, I'll reverse it then. Let's see. Oh. Literally reversing into your own trailer is not a good idea. It's reversing into the spot you want. Not the trailer. See, there you are. That little sweet spot. <sighs> right, well, the chicken pen just there's done. Um, I'm going to need to fill that at some point. Um, and I will do it soon. Um, I don't know if that water point is actually needed. Um, I haven't used this mod yet, so... I think for seasons it would be. But for this, I don't know. I mean, we'll, we'll find out when I put the chickens in. I'm going to go collect them without using the trailer. And yeah, 
it's worth it worth a try plus like I said you put some straw in this one and you get manure so okay let's sort out the fruit trees now, I'm probably not going to do all of them on camera um, for time's sake if that makes sense do a few or at least one of them so now that's all done that will start producing fruit once we put the next thing down this one does cherries um, cherry tree plum tree pear tree and an apple tree so yeah now I thought I might as well just get these wall pallets in here this is the wall storage mod um, and it's a nice little mod to be honest with you. It's one of my one of my favourite little things. All you do is just drive it here and then it will just take it. To get it back out, you just go back over to it and just press the button done. So it stores a fair bit as well. I can't, I can't remember exactly how much it stores. Um, I'll probably get back to you that on another episode. Uh, but it stores a fair bit. I do like this telehandler. This telehandler, by the way, it's um, it's it's sort of an exclusive mod, um, so you won't find it anywhere. To be perfectly honest with you, I'm afraid. So yeah, and um, you know, well, it depends on where you are, and I'm not going to say wh who it comes from. Um, you know, it's just from a specific people. I get to use it. It's, quite, it's a nice to handle. Bit bulky, bit boxy, but does the job. It's got quite a nice reach as well. We also need to clean the sheep out and refill some of the water. Well, top it up a little bit. Let's see. Now these boxes are the last and final piece of the puzzle. Now what you do with these boxes, you stick them underneath the tree when it's filled with water and manure. Now from there, it will start, oh whoops, dropped it. And these these boxes, by the way, you don't need super strength. I haven't got a super strength on, I haven't got a strong farmer on. Um, they literally, you can literally just use them do that and what will happen is these boxes will fill uh, with fruit basically now there's you only need one per area per tree should I say but if you put two down they sort of fill up quite nicely so or at least from what I've been told so we're going to try that so, I mean part of this is trial and error because I know parts of it but I don't know it all I've not gone this far into it so you know we are learning as we go okay so do the same with this I'm gonna do the same with the rest of them but I think for this episode we are now coming up to the end oh as you can see look 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 they're growing the fruits growing so you just put it there and it will fill now yeah so yeah, so I think we'll come to the end of this episode. What I'm going to say to you all is I hope you've all enjoyed it. If you have, do feel free to give us a like, hit that subscribe button, um, and feel free to share. I mean, uh, I want to grow this channel, you know. It would be great to grow it. Um, and I can only do that with you guys. Your help. Um, just by sharing subscribe and it's free to subscribe all you do is literally log into your google account um once you do that all you do is just hit the subscribe button it doesn't cost you nothing so why not you know so well from me to you though hope you all take care god bless you stay safe <laughs>